Hello, Earth Signs. It's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This reading is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this is a reading to discuss who's coming towards you, what's coming towards you, and what it is you need to do. So let's look at who's coming towards you. Okay. Mm, yep, this is from my singles. Um, a lot of you guys have been contemplating whether or not you wanted to get back out there. Um, uh, dating for you has been very mentally exhausting. So who's coming towards? Uh, angels are saying get rid of that old uh, way of thinking, uh, old way of doing things and kind of quote unquote get back out there. Strength card says to me, um, keep going. Don't give up, right? Have the strength to... Um, get through this very tough mentally and physically exhausting stage when it comes to dating and there's love so it's an Aquarius oh you could have two options angels are also saying to have a lot more fun okay so the person to, who's coming towards you they may not necessarily be as emotionally available as you may need them to be but I feel like this person who's coming in could be Somebody to just kind of get your feet wet, you know, your training wheels person to kind of quote unquote, get you back out there on your path to happily ever after or commitment or whatever it is you guys are looking for. The two of pentacles also represents to me two options. I don't feel like this is somebody that you are going to settle down with. I feel like, again, this is just somebody to come in and take the edge off of these two tens, you know, a lot of you guys have been mentally exhausted. Dating has been a lot. Um, I'm also hearing a lot of you guys have been having issues with online dating specifically <clears throat> attracting people who got baggage on baggage on baggage. And it's almost like you kind of go back and forth on whether or not you're going to proceed. Um, yeah, cause there's a thought and it's almost like you want somebody in your life. You want somebody to share your time with. I don't necessarily know how um, serious you guys are about dating or commitment, not dating, but I don't know how serious you are about commitment. Again, maybe you just need somebody to talk to. Maybe you just need a companion versus a full on lover, <coughs> excuse me, significant other. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles and also the Nine of Cups, also, um, you know, bookcasing the Strength card, it's almost like you have taken dating and relationships in the past very seriously. And it's almost like the universe is saying to you, have a little bit of fun, right? Go places, treat yourself, go on vacation, book a vacation for yourself, or, you know, go out more, go to have drinks, go to happy hour. I know we're in a pandemic, be careful. But it's almost like do the things that you love more as opposed to say, for instance, maybe sitting around thinking around thinking all the time about this perfect relationship, perfect person, happily ever after. I just noticed you got all four tens on the table, right? Here they are. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So it kind of looks like the universe is um, there. First off with the ten of pentacles, they're saying to me, time is short. Life is short. So it's almost like live in the moment, enjoy the, enjoy the moment. You guys are earth signs. So you're grounded, right? Like you guys probably live in the moment and are present better than any other sign in the Zodiac, right? So it's almost like remain grounded, remain humble, stay out of your head, right? Stay out of the, the, um, the rules of dating and relating and expectations of how people are. Cause I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's your Achilles heel. That's what you, that's what kind of gets you down all the time. Not only that, but with the 10 of cups, angels are saying, celebrate you, celebrate your accomplishments, celebrate your happiness. Yeah, it does. It does make it feel better when you have that person there to celebrate with and things of that nature. But if that person is not there now, that should not stop the celebrations is what I'm hearing. And then with the 10 of wands, angels are saying, learn to let, let things go. I feel like maybe, um, especially maybe for Virgo specifically, um, you guys tend to hold on to things, right? You tend to hold on to your baggage, take it from relationship to relationship to relationship. Angels are basically saying to you guys, Hey, let go, have fun, stay grounded, stay out of your head, live in the moment, love yourselves 
and, and just love your life, appreciate yourself, appreciate your life. Okay. So, uh, it's crazy because that was who's coming towards you and also what you need to do in a nutshell. So with the four tens on the table, let me go ahead and pull some moonology cards for you, earth signs and see what additional messages you have Leo showing here. If I can get my cards in order, you got Leo, you got Aquarius, you got Virgo. Those four tens, the tens in the tarot represent completion. So the completion of financial wealth and stability, the completion of learning to release and let go of the past, um, learning to let go, release and forgive people who have betrayed you. And then um, out of all things, just be happy, right? Out of all things, celebrate your accomplishments, your joy, your success, where you're going. It's almost like out of all the things that have happened in your life, be grateful is what I'm hearing. Oh, three cards. Nice. And you see me throw that one up. It's like a win-win outcome is forecasted. You got four tens here. So yeah, like you guys are completing like um, angels are saying a full evolutionary cycle because you have all suits in the tarot. So it's like on in all aspects of your life, your physical life, your past, your money, your stability, your home, your shelter, your mental and your emotion is like you're completing out a cycle in all of those areas. Beautiful. Look at the bigger picture. Again, stay present is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing celebrate, celebrate the small things. It's almost like those 10 cups. You find 10 things to celebrate, find 10 things to be happy about is what I'm hearing. Your commitment is being tested. And again, at the root of this, it's like, yeah, what do you want to be committed to? It feels like God Angels Universe is saying, commit to you first and let us send you that same commitment once you get really good at committing to yourself. So it's almost like the universe playing follow the leader. You are the leader. You commit to you. The universe will send you someone to commit to you as well. Bong. Hold your vision, right? Don't give up your vision just because you haven't found anybody, just because, you know, dating has been rough, right? No, keep going. Again, Angel said with this, the strength card, keep going. We know it's rough. We know it's scary. Okay, have the strength and endurance and the fortitude and the prudence to push and forge ahead. You have two fulfillment cards here, fulfillment emotionally, fulfillment financially. Okay, so you got two nines here with four tens. So you guys are on the verge of your happiness, your joy, your happily ever after. Universe just needs you guys to, you guys to continue to push forward, remain flexible, continue talking, hold your vision, hold your dreams, and check in with spirit every now and then. Okay. All right. My earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a bit of a short reading, but I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, click the like button. Yeah. Leave me a message uh, in the comment section. Uh, to talk to me about your stories. And then also don't forget to subscribe. I love you, earth signs. Bye.